The paramedian median approach, starting cranial to the patella and running centrally to the region of the tibial tubercle, is a standard approach. Deep dissection involving the medial or lateral retinacula may be necessary to facilitate anatomic reduction of the articular surface. Reduce the bone fragments to the anatomic position using either a patella repositioning clamp, a small tenaculum, or a large Weber clamp. 1.35 mm guide wires can be placed across patella fracture sites when 4.0 mm quick fix screws are deemed necessary for use. The ideal wire level is approximately 5 mm below the anterior patellar surface. The depth is measured and the appropriate length cannulated screws are inserted. Using a positioning handle, the trial of the patella suture plate 2 is positioned onto the anterior patella surface according to the fracture lines. Use fluoroscopy to help define the correct size of the trial. The appropriate size of the patella suture plate 2 is positioned on the anterior patella surface. BB tacks can help temporarily fix the plate to the bone. For correct positioning of the plate on the patella surface, the locking bending guide can be used. The locking drill guide is screwed into the locking holes prior to drilling. Ensure there are no guide wires or cannulated lag screws in the drill path. The screw length is determined by referencing the laser line on the 2.0 mm drill bit at the scale on the locking drill guide. 3.0 mm variable angle locking screws are inserted into the patella plate. BB tanks are removed once appropriate fixation of each fragment has been achieved. Do not allow the screws to enter the articulating surface of the patella. If fragment size allows, three screws should be used for each fragment. If desired, a 4.0 mm cannulated screw can be placed distal to proximal in the patella.